What's up, Abe Kislevitz here, and today we're doing a direct comparison between the Hero 9 and the original HD Hero, aka the Hero 1, released way back in 2009. I'll be testing a bunch of different modes as well as testing out Max Lens Mod. And throughout these tests, I'll be showing you three different views. First is a direct comparison of frame size. How big is 5K compared to 720p? This will show you. Second is a classic side-by-side -side scale to fit this frame, showing you the quality of what you'd get if you were editing in a 4K timeline. And third is the side-by-side -side scaled four times from the original side-by-side -side to give you a better visual of the detail difference and the stabilization. None of these shots have been altered or color corrected, and just as an FYI, I shoot all of my Hero 9 footage with low sharpness so I can correct it in post. Let's jump right in and see where 11 years of technological innovation has gotten us. Look what we have here. We've got the highest resolution in both, so we have 1080p30 in the Hero 1, and we have 5K30 in the Hero 9. Obviously, stabilization is going to be much better in the Hero 9. We have no stabilization in the original GoPro. I scrounged this out of an old bag, and I only had one battery, and it definitely didn't hold a charge. So I have it permanently hooked up to a USB battery bank, and so that is how it's getting its power. All right, we're gonna go do some uh, selfies, some follow cams, some jumps. Let's do it. Hero 9 versus original HD Hero. Right, this next test we're going to be doing r3 which is 72060 that's the mode that i used pretty much all the time when i was filming on the usc ski and snowboard team and, uh, we'll be doing that against 4k 60 but i'm going to do linear mode so we compare the best stabilization versus no stabilization original GoPro, you can't get the full wide view in 1080p, so I'm dropping it down to 720 and comparing against 5K. Now let's drop into some slow-mo with 2.7K 120 linear versus 72060. Next up, we'll just switch it from 2.7K 120 linear to wide. R4 resolution, which is 960-30, and I have the Hero 9 and 4K4-330. A couple jumps, see how it goes. <laughs> now we have Hero 9 with Max Lens mod and I have horizon leveling on. We got 2.7K 60 and 
R3, which is 726. So now one of them will not turn sideways, and one of them will. So we'll try to get it all weird off the jumps. Interestingly enough, that wider field of view you get when using Max Lens Mod is very similar to the field of view in the original GoPro. How's this uh, comparison of stabilization? <laughs> Original HD Hero versus Hero 9 with Max Lens Mod. Last but not least, we've got super slow motion with 1080 240 wide versus 720 60, the closest in resolutions we've got. I think you'll agree with me when I say GoPros have come a long way in the last 11 years. The biggest thing usability for me has definitely got to be the stabilization. The fact that you can zoom into 400% on the Hero 9 video and not see any sort of image warping or warbling is a huge testament to the image scientists and engineers at GoPro who have built the stabilization on Hypersmooth. Couple that with high resolutions, high frame rates, the color, white balance, exposure are all better on the Hero 9. It is super cool to see how far these cameras have come in the last 11 years. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Abe Kislevitz once again. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And if you haven't checked out my latest vlog where Zadia and I go head to head in a Hero 1 versus Hero 9 editing competition, definitely check that out.